after you've pre-processed and set up a model for a single run for a single subject, you will need to do the same steps for all of the runs for all of the subjects in your data set. As you can imagine, this will take a long time and it isn't practical for large data sets. An alternative is to script your analysis. This has the double benefit of automating your analyses and being able to analyze data sets of any size. The code for analyzing two subjects or 200 is virtually identical. Before going on, you may want to review the Unix tutorials to make sure you are familiar with the basic terms of scripting. First, we'll need to create a template that contains the code needed to analyze a single run, and then we'll use a for loop to automate the analysis for all of the runs. Remove the current feet directories by typing this command from the sub await directory, since we'll be overwriting them later when we run the script. Then, open the feet GUI by typing feet underscore GUI from the command line. In the previous tutorials, we ran feet separately for pre-processing and for model fitting. We will now create a template that combines both of these steps by selecting full analysis from the drop-down menu of the feet GUI. Using the previous tutorials as a guide, fill in all of the required fields for both pre-processing and model fitting. This is sped up to double time, so if you need to, click on the gear icon in the YouTube window and slow it down to half speed. Once you've filled in all of the fields, instead of clicking the Go button, click the Save button instead, and then call the file design underscore run1. This will save out several files with extensions such as con, mat, and png, but it is the design underscore run1.fsf file that we will be using as a template for our script. Now let's do the same procedure for run2 loading the appropriate functional data and timing files. Again, this is at double time, so if you need to, you can slow it down to half time. Save the file as design underscore run 2fsf then copy both of the .fsf files to the main Flinker directory. Now go to this link, which is also in the box down below, and then click the raw button and right click anywhere in this window to save the file run first level analysis.sh to the flanker directory. Now let's walk through each part of this script and describe what it does. It begins with a shebang and some comments describing what exactly the script is supposed to do. And then back ticks are used to expand seek dash w126 in order to create a loop that will run the body of the code over a list of subjects. This will expand to 01, 02, 03, all the way to 26 and update the number that is assigned to the variable id on each iteration of the loop. The script then uses a conditional statement to check whether the skull stripped anatomical exists, and if it doesn't, the skull stripped image is generated. The design.fsf files, which are located in the main Flanker directory, are copied into the current subjects directory. Sed is then used to replace the string sub08 with the current value of subj that has been assigned in the loop. The last part of the code runs the .fsf files with the feet command and prints to the terminal which run is being analyzed. You can run the script by navigating to the flanker directory and typing bash run first level analysis dot sh. The echo commands will print text to the terminal when a new step is run, and HTML pages will track the progress of the preprocessing and statistics. After they finish, you should review these pages 
just like you did in the previous tutorials. At this point, you have learned all the necessary Unix commands and concepts to run an fMRI analysis script. If this is your first time using Unix, this may seem complicated, but with practice, you'll be able to see why the script is composed the way it is, and how, in relatively few lines, you are able to represent what can take dozens of hours of human labor. You are now ready to begin higher level analyses, which we will learn about in the next video.